Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with another reading. I trust that you had an amazing day with your friends and family. For those of you who support 4th of July, um, I hope that you had an amazing day regardless whether you supported this holiday or not. My sage is just saging and I couldn't get it to go out right away and I didn't want to put water on it. So it's just smoky as all hell. Um, it's white smoke, so that's a good sign. But anyways gonna go ahead and keep the same energy take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't my day was amazing i feel good i feel great after this reading is uploaded i'm taking it into bed to get my day started i need an early start because i have lots and lots and lots to do we're gonna do a message from the universe reading of course you will still hear um fireworks in the background because i live in an area where the uh, law enforcement does not enforce the city's ordinance for noise and fireworks. Ha, lucky me. Um, that's okay. Still grateful um, to have hearing, to hear it. Um, so just disregard it. Um, drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because you know I love it when you say hello. Click like to show support to the video. And of course, by doing that, it supports the channel. Click the thanks button and send me some moolah, baby. If this resonated with you or you just want to support the channel to help us to grow and to flourish, we're going to do that regardless, but doing that helps it a lot quicker. Um, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to stay informed, and we're going to get right into your reading. I just love the way how this is just smoking up the place like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is dope. Like, yes, kill all the bad vibes, any type of vibes that wants to come up in here and make things complicated and block any messages for, for the collective. Let's go ahead and, yeah, push it back, push it back, repel on that damn right okay let's move forward so we're gonna get a message from the universe we're gonna pull about four or five cards um i feel as though someone needs some guidance with regards to something that's happening in their life don't we all and what better way than to turn to the tarot all right so let's do this so spirit, beautiful angels and tarot cards, please provide us with the guided messages for the collective. Please provide us with a clear, concise message from the universe, the beautiful, massive universe. Please provide us with the guided messages. Please provide us with the guided messages. Let me give one good shuffle here and then we'll get right into it. Make sure I'm not shuffling this thing correctly. Okay, so not trying to be annoyed by these extra late night fireworks as if people don't have shit to do or peaceful sleep to embark on. But, you know, who needs peaceful sleep, right? All right, so what do you need to know right now? What do you need to focus on? The lesson that you, that'll take place uh, during this cycle. Um, oh, that flew out. What to release and then, oops, the magic you'll create and the message from the universe. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here. What's on the bottom of the deck? The page of pentacles. Okay, so you are trying to and are actively um, manifesting new, new beginnings. And I feel like you're in the thinking stage of changing the dynamic of how things move in cycles in your life, which is an amazing space to be in. Um, the goal that you need to focus on is the one that you have laid the groundwork for i feel like for this energy you may be working on one particular thing which involves 
it looks like a, a mixture of charity work. And then you also have something that's similar to like in the same industry as this nonprofit. But it requires you to work with a lot of people to be on a team, to be a team player. And yeah, so I see what it, it's clear as day. What you need to focus on is what you've accomplished and how to make what you've been working on better. Um, so often we can get caught up in how great things are going because you may have had a good run or you may have made the right moves and everything is moving smoothly and the universe is just blessing you and left, right and center while you deserve that. We all deserve what we've so rightfully worked hard for. It's important to continue honing your skills and to continue um, elevating from where you are um, just as much as it is important to embrace and celebrate your wins. You have to continue to make goals to excel for the future. So I feel like someone may feel as if they've accomplished what they set forth to do. And you may be feeling as if you don't know where to go from here. It's like going you're on a high and you're like, okay, well, it, it can't possibly get much better than this. But once you get to that point, you now have to branch out and start helping people. That's how the universe continues to with that momentum. So that's why I'm hearing and seeing nonprofit, like your guides are saying, okay, now it's time to switch gears to the nonprofit with the nine of cups energy. You're in a position right now to help and to elevate and push this full force with ease because you don't have to put so much time and energy into the ships that you've set on your current endeavor with your financial um, investments. This is someone who may have set up some kind of business that can run itself and you're having a good run right now. And the universe is saying, and your universe, maybe people around you are encouraging you and saying, hey, you, now it's time to invest some of those funds into the nonprofit so that you can you can reap the benefits of that as well. And of course, have a fulfilling endeavor. So focus on the nonprofit right now is what your guys are saying, especially since you've delegated responsibilities and whatever this business is, or you've gotten to a point where you don't have to be there all the time to make it do what it do. You can invest your time into this nonprofit. Now, the lesson that will take place during this cycle is you not holding yourself back anymore. I feel like I feel like sometimes you feel that no matter what you do, it's not big enough. And I feel like now with you going to this whole nonprofit side of things, you're going to realize that sometimes you don't have to do things so big in order to have big results. Sometimes it's like the smallest little thing that you do. That is what makes a world of difference for someone else because you come from a background of people who are creative and wealthy and you have a very very big shoes to fill so i feel like with you investing 110 percent into this nonprofit and getting involved with your community you're not going to feel like you have to have a certain amount of a certain look to do the small things. You can branch out and take action even when things don't look as grand as you would want them to be. I feel like that's how you've always looked at things like if it's not if we either go big or we go home, but that's not the approach that you would want to have with every single thing. Now, what the universe wants you to release, you have a seamless control over your emotions and it's safe. 
but people want to see that you have feelings people want to see that you can relate to them on an emotional level and not to be afraid to open up and have a deeper conversation outside of um money and financial gain with the king of cups The magic that you'll create is that you'd be given from every angle. And this is what you wanted to do from the get-go. Earth signs present, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is your calling. This is what you wanted to do. You always wanted to have this nonprofit situation and always wanted to have a business that runs itself so that it doesn't take you away from your family and in the past it has up until recently where you now are in a position to delegate responsibilities and only have to show up when things hit the fan you're in an amazing position to really move the way that you want to so the magic that you will create is is formidable it's going to be bigger than you can ever imagine because you're going to be giving on a in a different way. You're giving your physical time as opposed to just writing checks and getting involved. And people are going to be looking at you differently as if you are a whole nother person when this is who you were all the time. It's just that you just didn't have this perspective. I feel like getting more involved and getting more hands on with this situation and this nonprofit is going to show, it's going to bring out a different side of you. And then the message from the universe is that you don't have to choose. As long as you're honest with yourself and your dealings, it'll be rather easy for you know to know when to use your emotions in a situation um, or when to be decisive without involving your heart. Okay, so that is all that I have for you. I hope this message resonated with someone. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description. And until next time, love and light, tribe.